Hello, my Pisces people. How are you? I hope everyone's doing well. Pisces. <laughs> I love you guys. It's been a while. I'm here to do a quick reading for you guys regarding what is your person thinking. Whether you're with someone, separated from somebody, it's whoever you're thinking about. Um, just remember, this will not resonate with everyone. And if you're not interested in knowing what your person is thinking, um, feel free to check out other videos. There are so many others, um, not only my own, but other people as well. And I am sure you guys will find something. Just remember, time is fluid. I'm asking for now, but this could be something that happened in the past. It could be something for the near future or this could be something in the distant future. So take what resonates and leave the rest, please. Okay, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what is Pisces person thinking and feeling, please? What is Pisces person thinking and feeling, please? Two more shuffles. Pisces person. Pisces person. Okay. Pisces, we have renewal and spark. Family, home, commitment. Toxicity, bound, and patterns. All right, so automatically I'm feeling like there's been trouble in paradise. I feel like you might be um, married or living with this person for some time, share a family with them. I feel like um, it's been rough with you two. I feel like it's a situation where your person um, has done this over and over again. Whatever this is, we'll find out. Excuse me, and I feel like this person um, wants to come back, wants to come back and, or if not come back, wants to um, feel that spark again, wants to, well, we have guarded and vulnerability, which I feel like is your energy. So let's pull these, put these up here. And I'm going to put this back. This just fell out. Guarded and vulnerabil vulnerability. And there's another flyer. Let's see. Celebration, gifts, and abundance. I think this person is going to go out of their way. Go out of their way to try to get you back. Let's see. Spirit, how does Pisces feel about their person, please? How does Pisces feel about their person? Healing, inner child, separation, longing, fate, and detours. Okay, and divine intervention. So, yeah, that's what I thought. You guys are kind of not doing well right now. I can see that, right? So, I feel like you love this person, um, but I feel like... You're at this point now where you're just going to let nature do, do its course or play its course, whatever the, the, the saying is, because you, you're healing. You're healing from whatever issues happened, um, whatever separation the, caused the separation. You're still healing from that. Um, and you're at the point now where you're saying, whatever will be, will be. I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to, you know, do, you know, work very hard for this. That's how you're feeling, Pisces. Excuse me one second. Ella, Ella Beans, quit it. Ella, come on. Come on, let's go. Sorry, guys. All right. Spirit, how does Pisces person feel towards Pisces, please? They wanted to come out. Let's see. How does Pisces person feel towards Pisces, please? Let's 
Let's see what we have. Rebirth and winter again. Um, North Node Cosmic and Purpose. One more card, please. This person wants to try again. This person wants... This person does not want to give up on this commitment, on their family, on their home, on you. Thank you. Limitations and fears. Yeah, this person's afraid to uh, approach you, afraid to speak to you for fear that you're going to just knock them down. I mean, you've pretty much given up on this situation. You've said enough is enough. Excuse me. Ella. Ella. <laughs> she responds to me. All right. I'm so sorry, Pisces. She's she doesn't like when I read. She because she's not getting the attention then. All right, this card just flipped over, Knight of Wands. I'm wondering if this person was a kind of player type. And that might be what caused the uh the separation. But let's let's get some answers here. Spirit what else can you tell me regarding this relationship, please? What else can you tell me? What else can you tell me? One card, please. One card, please. Thank you. The Nine of Swords. This person is in their head. They're in their head. They can't stop thinking about you. What have I done? Oh my goodness. You know, I'm using nice words. I don't think those words are the words that this person, you know, oh my goodness. I don't, I'm trying to be civil here. Thank you. The Queen of Swords. You're not going to, uh, you know, they're going to come in trying to speak facts and truth and everything else they feel like you guys are so he the, he he or she this person feels like you guys are soulmates thank you this person's coming back as the king of cups to offer this person's cup of love to you they know what they did they do not want to lose this commitment with you and again, you may have family, you know, kids with this person. Thank you. Death. Yeah, this person's afraid that it's over. This person is afraid. They've gone within. Thank you. Queen of Cups. They see you as a very loving person. Very loving. Now, we have the Queen, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So you two may very well be soulmates. And this person, oh my God, the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands. They don't want to lose that. They don't want to lose that. Wow. Ace of Cups. They want to offer you their cup of love. A new beginning, a fresh new beginning. You know, there, there was toxicity, some type of toxic behavior. Spirit, why is toxicity here, please, for Pisces? Why is toxicity here? Thank you. There was arguing. There, there was arguing, bickering. Uh, underneath the deck, the Seven of Swords. Maybe lies were spoken. And the Five of Swords. Okay. Wow. This this person, I tell you, I'm I'm feeling a little bit of arrogance going on. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the devil just popped out. There's it there it is again, toxicity. I'm feeling a little bit of arrogance here. This person wants to come back, though. Yep. 
the fool just popped out. New beginning. Let's see. Another card, please. Pisces for Pisces. Thank you. The Seven of Wands. All right. Spirit is saying, you know, defend yourself. Defend yourself. You're still healing. Thank you. Page of Cups, an apology. This person's coming in. They're, they're coming in to apologize for what they've caused, that you're their wish fulfillment, and they want to come back in and make things right. You're their Ten of Pentacles. You're their world, everything to them. I think they still watch you. I still, they, they watch you, they, 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 and not in a creepy way, but I think they keep tabs on you. You left, they left you out in the cold. There were secrets, but they definitely want to reconcile with you. You know, they want to start that. They've been looking back at the past, but you know the deal. You already know. You're not saying much. You're not saying much. Things weren't balanced. You were committed to this person, and now you're left on your own, but you're doing okay. You're doing okay. This person could have been a player. Oh, boy. Pisces. My Pisces people. All right, Pisces. Well, let's get an outcome. And uh, let's see. Spirit, what advice do you have for Pisces, please, regarding this person? What is the outcome? What is the outcome? What advice do you have for Pisces, please, regarding this person? The Hanged Man. Another card, please. Three of Cups. Wow. The Ace of Pentacles. What else? That's it. The Ten of Cups. Justice. Okay, I got the message. All right, all right, Pisces. So I have the message here. This person wants to come back. This person wants to come back and offer you a stable new beginning in love. You are their Ten of Cups. You are everything. This person is going to use all the emotions, all the words, all the, you know, everything you want to hear to try to convince you. Um, you, this person had you in a third party, I believe, and you're not going to be having it. You, your justice is for your happiness. You're going to go within and you're going to try to see things from another perspective. As much as you may want to go back with this person, I feel like you may change your mind about that. You're going to be going within. You're going to try to look at things in every which way. And I just feel like you're doing okay. You're doing okay. You're the Nine of Pentacles. You're pre-empress. No gender again. Remember that. But you're, you're doing okay. You're stable. It's taken you time. You're healing now. And I don't know. If you should decide to take this person back, make sure that, you know, you remember your worth. Because you are certainly, you know, worth to be treated the way you're supposed to be treated. I mean, this person is making a lot of promises and, um, you know, pulling out all the stops to get you to accept their offer. So Pisces, I would definitely, you know, listen to this person and make sure that it's, you know, worth it to you, you know? All right, Pisces, so there you go. I love you guys so much, and Happy New Year, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.